Qatar versus Gilas Pilipinas. Who will win this game? Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. I'm Brian Anderson, here with Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce. We've got the visitors facing the home team. Now the starting group for the visitors. It's blocked. Down low. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Shooting for the home team. Number 15. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Good on the second, so he makes them both. At this point, you might as well go ahead and chalk up the points when he's at the free throw line. Pretty much automatic. Inside. Off with the layup. That's tipped. A lot of minute played so far here in the first. Takes the three. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Here's B. And it comes off the front of the rim. Throws it up high. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop. And bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Thompson up top. Pass to B. Shot clock at five. From the arc. The shot, no good. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. To the paint. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, right now I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing, scratching your head to that turnover. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. That will not get it done. He's 0 for 2. Jacks up a 3. After two missiles to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. I mean, that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. He's covered by Thompson. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. First quarter of play. We're about three minutes in. 
with the drive. That one's no good. 0 of 1 to begin the game. From outside the arc, Thompson with the rebound. The pass to B to the middle. Here's Aguilar. Beautiful Aguilar. dish, and the layup goes Assistant. down. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Five to shoot. Hits the close-range jumper. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. D the pass to Perez. Thompson outside. Pass to Perez. Here's B. It's on target from a high post. B's got five points so far. B's gone 50% so far. Two of four shooting. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Top of the key. Uses the glass to finish the layup. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. Takes a three. That ball's off target. It's his third miss. He's made two shots from the field. Driving inside. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession if they can get it. He doesn't make Number them all, 15. but still very much a high percentage look. Really heads up Number there. A play where you locate the best open pass and then you get it there for an easy bucket. And it's blocked. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. downtown he's now one for two with that bucket yeah, that's just a lapse right there no matter what somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face Thompson passes to B back to Thompson off target from the baseline the tray gets the three-pointer to fall three points he has five I'm not sure who was supposed to be guarding him. Ridiculous laps there defensively. Passes it to B. To the inside. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. I mean, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Can't connect from 14 feet out. There's the three. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. He's gone 50% from the field. Three of six. Out left of the wing. Five on the clock. Gonna go that time. Is it getting cold in here? This is, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. Perez, the pass to Aguilar. The pass to Perez. The three. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Down low. Point 
range. The shot will not fall. Inside. Boom, he jams it straight down. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. 153 left in the first quarter. To end the cold streak, and it's good on the way up. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Thompson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. A three ball. You can't get that one. They hold the early advantage on the glass. He's covered by Thompson. Can't tie it up as that one misses. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. Team ball. They've been trailing for a few minutes here. But that could change right here. Fifty-six seconds left here in the first quarter. To the paint. Six to shoot. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Nine feet out. A shot off that time. Takes a shot at the elbow. Thompson with the rebound. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Fifteen seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And it's in there. Six points for him. Textbook bounce pass there. Perfectly timed. Good work there as it goes. I mean, he makes plays like that in his sleep the game is just far too easy and still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close they're up by two and we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter and some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far and guys what's your take on the home team so far Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. To the inside, and it's blocked. Fires for three. Drills it from outside. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. To the middle. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for the home team. Number 21, taking two shots. First one falls. And so he hits both. Well, he's got a great stroke 
from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Got it. Good job in the low post. Guys, seven times the lead has changed hands here now. Yeah, and that number should easily top double figures before it's over. Baller passes to Ross. Pass to Baller. Shot from the top of the key. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Here's the Wizard. Got him with the pump fake, but couldn't finish. Pass to Ross. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by. Passes to Baller. Shot on the wing. Offensive rebound. Got a hand on it, and he gets it back. He lobs it up. Number and five. you can see him give a little That's nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Going inside. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three point play chance here for him. Defensive foul. Respectful move there. That, that was not an easy one to convert. Now, showing off a little bit on that one. That's a play when your coach goes, no, no. Okay, good play. Get back on defense. One shot. Here's the wizard. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. good on the three and a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter no good sixteen feet away nice spin off the left rim and in he's got twelve yeah great execution there the turnaround such a difficult shot to defend Here's Bowler, and he jams it with authority. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Down low. Inside. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. From past the arc, that shot misses. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Let's it go from 14. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And here is Ross. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Let's it go from deep. A shot, no good. Baller's gone two for five tonight. He's guarded by Ross. Swiped it away. And now the fast break, Ross with the ball. And he gets off the fast break with a monster slam. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. One plus the penalty. Two shots. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Oh! Yes, sir. And down it 
goes, jamming that one home. You talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And, and guys, don't think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. The pass to ball. Sinks the triple. Baller's got eight points. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. Here's the Wizard. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Jang defending. The shot from the low post is good. I don't know if you would consider this, but he's got such a nice touch around the rim. Maybe you foul him there? Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And it's tonight! Takes the 13-footer. No basket with that shot. Having trouble finding his range, he's one for five. Here's the Wizard. up the alley-oop pass, hammers the alley-oop through. Two. And how Number about four. the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Here's Baller, and a missed layup. Here's the Wizard. From 13, and the shot no good, a bit short. Well, they shouldn't be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. And he makes that one. It took a little bit of time, but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game. Feeds it to Jang. That one misses. To the paint. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, that just Number scrambled 15. the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Home team. Substitution for the away team. Pass to ABC. Four on the clock. This one for three. They get it again. The second chance effort. And the rejection by Jang. And he recovers it. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Assisted. Yeah, heads up aggressive Zero. play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Here's ABC. Still looking for his first make after that miss. He's 0 for 2. 135 left in the first half of the game. And they're running.
Passes it to Perez. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. You know, the rest of the D can be stretched a little thin when the double team's in place like that. Out to the wing. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Number and it's 44. coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. 104 left to play in the first half. And there's the pass to ABC. And it's blocked. And they're pushing it up. Here's Jang. And it's blocked. And here's the break. Here's ABC. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Fourth team foul. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Number six. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. AI outside. Perez, the pass to ABC. Down to five on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Third personal foul. Yeah, easy call. Foul. At the line for your home team, number 21, taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. And give them credit for the work they've done at the line. Nothing new, but they're always impressive in terms of free throw shooting, but still worth mentioning. And that can... The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. Taking a look at this home squad, Kenny, what was your impression? They found a slight edge on the boards, and they've done it with nothing but raw determination. I mean, look, they've got talent, but the passion is there, and that separates these guys. They're simply refusing to give up possession. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. I think they let the game come to them. But they haven't got to the foul line enough, Ernie. That's an area where they're getting beat. i like to see them press to action a little bit more. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. We've got B 
And it's Aguilar at the power forward position. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Off target with his three. To the middle. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Eight points for him. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Pass to Perez. Back to Thompson. Pass to Perez. Launches a three. No good that time. He's covered by Thompson. Shot left block, and he hits the jump shot. He's got 20. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. There's the pass to B. Back to Thompson. Driving in. That one rolling around and runs out. You talk about things at halftime, and then you come out and you go 0 for 3. I'm sure that wasn't up on the board. That ties it up. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Has to be. Back to Thompson. Just five to shoot. Driving to the basket. He gets that Number one. 15. Well, there it is. 0 of 3 to start the half. And finally, something finds its way through the net. To the left side wing. To the inside. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Here's Perez driving the lane. Good on the shot. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Thompson passes to B. Thompson surveying the floor. Passes it to Perez. Offline with his three. To the paint. It's stolen. And here's the fast break. Lays it in off the breakaway. Six points for him. Third quarter action in just under three and a half minutes have gone. It's blocked. Now Thompson. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. It's deflected, and he's able to get it back. Here's B. Another shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. You know, I love how he absorbs the foul and still had a chance to knock that one down. At the line for your home team, number 15. At the line for two. Two shots. And the first one drops. Both good from the line that time. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. First personal foul, first team foul. Shooting for the away team. 
Number 15, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Thompson up top. No points in the game yet for him. And the pass to A-Train. Here's B. Knocks down the three ball. That's pretty much not how they moved to end the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. And it's good from the elbow. He's got 22. Well, looking into the gaps of the defense there, he's not going to miss many of those when he gets to that range. Back to Thompson. Has to be for three. That's not going to go. He's four for ten. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. And it's blocked. Here's a train. Aguiar passes to Thompson. Hits it from three-point range. Thompson's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. You've got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Let's it go from 14. Well, maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense, but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Here's A-Train. The shot comes out. He's covered by Thompson. Sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Yeah, you would think a coach might have talked to his defense about making the adjustment on him, but right now, he's just lighting him up. This is it to be. Inside, six on the shot clock. No good. He's now missed more than he's made. Four for nine. Now the pass to A-Train. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. A-Train's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Down low. Oh, that's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. No keep possession. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Several teams changing it up here. to Mr. Fundamentals. Always oh, going up for the LUP here. An emphatic LU jam. Zero. And, and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Here's B. That shot, no good. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. He's covered by Thompson. Passes to Mr. Fundamentals. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer. And no good that time. B, the pass to Thompson. 
Here's a train. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding double. Just Mr. Reliable again here today, Kevin. I mean, they need his points, and he's producing. And he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. And they know for next time, don't let him establish position down low. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's it's a wrap. Unable to get that one. 139 left to play in the third. Misses, and he wants that one back. Uh, the defense better tighten up on the mid-range there. Much, much tighter. You expect him to make every single one of those. A shot missing. A-Train's gone 104 from the field. Knocks it loose. And here's the fast break. 20 feet out. Here's the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Number 13. Thompson's got three assists tonight. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages Number from five. downtown on the rise in the second half. They are just killing them on the interior. To the middle. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Into the lane. Basket counts. He has five. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Here's B. No good from 11 feet. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. He's covered by Thompson. Puts it up from 12. No good on the shot. And he's good on the three ball. And I really, I want to see more of that from him. I mean, he's been passing up on his shot more than usual, even though he's hitting the ones that he takes. Shoots the three. The putback. Can't hit the putback. And we've watched three so far in this one. Leading by nine. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. The 11 footer. Almost, but it rolls out. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Well, he creates such a great opportunity right at the rim, and he just can't get it to go, even with the defense not really a factor. Inside. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. to the right wing over to the wing just four to shoot a pass to Mr. Fundamentals There's three pointers off the mark pass to ABC here's a train and it's good off the back rim and in Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Over to the left wing. This now to AI. Beyond the arc. That shot missing. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second personal foul, first team foul. Oh, 
Echelon from your home team. Number 21. Two shots. First free throw is good. Good on both. And if they continue, oh, Kevin, their outstanding free throw Funny. shooting, that'll help them seal the deal and doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, well, during the break, I was able to catch the message the visiting team coach gave to his team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? Now, here's Aeon. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. Got a piece of it. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Perez. He's guarded by AI. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. ABC passes to Perez. Just five on the clock. To the right side. Passes it to ABC. Can't hit from in close. To the inside. It's blocked. And they get it back. Pass to AI. To the paint. They need this one. Here's Mr. Fundamentals. Goes up again. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the away team. Zero. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So he gets them both. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operation. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Number four, no question, he got bumped on that foul. shot. Second team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number 44 at the line for two. Shooting two. And 
And the first one at the line is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for the home team, number six, taking two shots. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Oh, and he pops it off the glass. Wow. Here's ABC. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for that. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Here's Perez. And it's AI with the rebound. Down low. And it is pushed down with a nice jam. Number and your point guard's got to be the catalyst. Great job getting to the 10. Well, Greg, he knows when they need a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Here's ABC. Knocked loose. And here comes the break. The coast to coast dunk. Now, that could be a major moment in this game. Just, just when we thought this contest might be over, a steal, a fast break, and it's hold everything time. Lock at six. And they'll get another chance. Unloads from 13. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Just cannot get anything to go. If there's going to be a way to get out of this hole, I don't think he'll be the one to do it. And there's the drive. And there's the pass to Perez. Here's Aguilar. And it's AI with the rebound. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Right on the bucket. The coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. With some arc, misses the target. That drops him to 40% now. Four of ten. To the paint. Off target at the rim. Inside. And he finishes nicely on Time the way. He's got 20. Home the team. ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Let's get our new balance player of the game. And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at him. It, it, it seems like every time they have, he's come up with the rejection. And with every block, he's only gotten more and more fired up. 
Thompson. He's checked in for ABC. Perez, the pass to Thompson. Can't connect from short range. He's covered by Thompson. No good from 11 feet. The layup off target. To the middle. And yes, it's good. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. To the inside, Aguilar missed inside. <laughs> to the left wing, a three. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. It's him five for 12 so far. Man, I'll tell you what, the pressure is cranked up. Who better to call? than this guy. Thompson passes to Aguilar. One forty-six left to play here in the fourth. Thompson for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Really the best result they could have hoped for on that possession. They get back all three points they just gave up and are close to putting this thing out of reach. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. He's got 29 points. Uh, and that was the right call. When you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Yeah, whether it's teammates or the coaching staff, hopefully a combination of both. But when it gets close, he's getting the ball. Six to shoot. The shot from 20 feet away. The shot, no good. To tie it up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They had a foul to get there, but you'd rather not have it cost your team. The away team, number two, two shots. and that narrows the gap to one. That one drops. He ties it up. And yeah, not the guy that you want to put at the line in these moments. He's not missing these. Here's B. They shoot again. That one doesn't go. To take the lead. Trains it from downtown. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Team. And Eric Spolstra wants a timeout. Started. It's nine seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Will it go? No good on the layup. 
And an intentional foul right there. Aguilar. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game. Foul. At the line for the away team. Zero. Taking two shots. Shoot the two. the first and that gives them a four point cushion and so both free throws are good and it's a five point game and just like that this game is a two possession affair launches it got it and he has brought them to within two points can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there the assist really the key to that entire sequence Thompson. and now they foul and stop the clock foul. 15 foul zero two shots and that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall trying to focus now on the second and the second of two is good that makes it a three-point lead Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Well, you can bet that's what they're looking for this late in the game. They need that three. There is the triple. Just a tremendous three to tie it up. Guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's tipped. Stolen by Thompson. For the win. And he hits the shot. Oh, but hang on, guys. Hold everything. The officials may review it here. Well, they are going to replay right now to make sure he did not release it in time as the officials originally ruled. Well, they had thought they had the game already won. Now they've got their fingers crossed. And honestly, guys, in real time, I couldn't really see whether he got it off in time. But with the benefit of replay, it seems pretty clear that the clock expired just before the release. And the officials have looked it over and confirmed the basket was no good. We're going to go to overtime. Yeah, that's what it looked like from here. I didn't think he got it off. But that is exactly the situation the replay rule was invented for. They, they couldn't let that go without checking and that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. Well, four quarters weren't enough to decide this ballgame. Sit back and enjoy as we move on to overtime. Here we go. All fueled up and ready to go to overtime basketball here. Brought to us by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. We've got Thompson. And it's Perez in at the two-guard spot. Here's B. Can't hit from 12. He's covered by Thompson. Good D by Thompson. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss. That kind of energy not wasted. Down low. That shot off. Perez, the pass to Thompson. Just five to shoot. Bangs home the trifecta. 22 points for B. The defense a step slow, and you can see the result. Off the left rim and out. We're in overtime and 90 seconds gone here in what has been a great one so far. And it's off from three-point range. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. 
Number 32. First personal foul, first team foul. Shooting for the away team. Number two. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. In overtime here, a minute and a half off the clock. Pass to Aguilar. Here's Perez. No good with the layup. Home team foul. Aguilar. Second personal foul. Second team foul. So it's the visitors now. Oh, and they Number take two. the lead. Assist he has 38 in the game. Zero. No issues on that one. Good work all around. 157 left to play in the first overtime. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team. Number 32. At the line for two. First free throw is good, and that ties the game up. And so making both free throws, that'll give them the lead here. And that's big there. Once he got the opportunity to get to the line and take the lead, you have got to convert. It's deflected. They recover it. Second shot opportunity. It doesn't go for him. The defense is tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. Drills the three-pointer. No way he's going to pass that shot up. He is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on it. It's overtime basketball, folks, if you're just tuning in. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. And the shot goes in. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 13 rebounds. Here's B. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Second team foul. Shooting for the home team. Number 32. Two shots. Drops the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. So he gets them both, and it's a four-point ball game. Well, crucial moment there at the free throw line, and he never flinched. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And even three on three break. Passes it to Aguilar. On the wing, Thompson. No good from outside. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And it's tonight. And it ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Away team ball. Away team. A three 
three off the inbound. Good! Zero. And that shot brings them to within just one. Man, didn't have a ton of room to get that shot off. That's the kind of shooter he is. Off target at the rim. Six on the shot clock. Count it! And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Here's B. The shot is good. But, oh, it looks like this one might get reviewed. Very close on the release. And, guys, how about this? The officials are indeed signaling a review of the last shot. If the basket is good, we've got a different outcome in this one. Wow. And the NBA replay center in Sakak is, is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. The officials have made their decision. The basket, as we thought, will count. It took a little while to check the replay, but they did, in fact, have it right. He got it off GA in time. And even though they had it right the first time, it's always a smart move to double check. When it comes to the game winning shot, you have got to go to replay. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. And they had some nervous moments down the stretch, but things finally came together for him in overtime. Yeah, probably didn't anticipate that this one would be that close down the wire, but give them credit. They were able to regroup in that overtime, and, and this win has to feel satisfying. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later.